In the beginning of this current arc we end called Egghead Island, Vegapunk calls Monkey D Dragon saying I'm going to die and Dragon tells him to chill out but of course Vegapunk being a genius can see his own death coming soon in the future which was very very spooky words but I do want to say this, he wanted to make Dragon know that he was in danger and Oda is very poetic when it comes to his One Piece story so something big is going to happen at the end of the story related to that phone call with Monkey D. Dragon and I think it's going to be involved with the huge Egghead Island incident. Don't forget in that special chapter zero that's not part of the main canon One Piece story, it's canon but it's not part of the main One Piece story, Dragon witnessed Goldie Rogers death with, alongside many other pirates and didn't go after the One Piece. That means he had a dream before Rogers era and I believe that that is Rox's era. And don't forget in the monumental chapter 100, when Oda dropped chapter 100, he introduces Monkey D. Dragon with the famous Goldie Roger quote. Freedom Fighter was the one who's also being introduced, so that's very cool too. But the hunger for freedom brings these things will always exist. That's inherited strength of will, people's dreams, the ebb and flow of the ages. Wow, Oda is definitely a genius. And guess what chapter is coming up very, very soon, guys. We just had chapter 1095 that had to do with God Valley and the crazy stuff there. Chapter 1100 is coming up, a monumental chapter. We will see Monkey D. Dragon, I promise you guys. But before we actually see Monkey D. Dragon, there's more things I have to show you in this video. So please, I never actually say please, but I'll say it for the first time. Please watch this video to the end of it because there's so many bombs about to drop in this video. And it's really important to my channel that I convey why Monkey D. Dragon will be coming in chapter 1100, guys. It's crazy. Now, Monkey D. Dragon, of course, during God Valley was the same age as his son Monkey D. Luffy pre time skip. Luffy during the East Blue. Yes, that Luffy, 17 years old. The Luffy who took down two warlords of the world government. The Luffy, of course, that took down the Logia warlord Crocodile. And of course, the man Moria who fought Kaido and lived. Of course, he also fought a man who thought he was God. Of course, from in a sky island named Anel with one of the most powerful Logias of all time. He fought the most ruthless. CP9 agent, so ruthless that a vice admiral didn't want to interfere in Luffy and Luchi's battle. That's what he did. He also escaped and pulled down the first man since Shiki, the gold lion, that legend, to escape the prison of Empel Down. There's so many achievements Luffy did at age 17 and you guys don't think his father did that amazing things, the most wanted man in the entire world. Luffy was also part of the war, Marine Forward War arc. So saying Monkey Dragon will not be part of this amazing flashback that has just started the God Valley flashback. And I'll explain everything in this video. So stay tuned please to the end. It's about to get crazy. Speaking of chapter 100, I do want to talk about Monkey D. Dragon's introduction and how he saves Luffy. And he says, the world is waiting for our answer. And that's one thing about Monkey, Dra Monkey D. Dragon as a character. He waits and waits for the perfect time. Ivanka literally was waiting in prison until Monkey D. Dragon said, get out. That's how much patient this character is. And chapter 100 is very, very pivotal too, because Monkey D. Dragon pretty much revealed his power that has to do with wind. It's wind related. We see wind blast in the panel. And of course, he has so much emotion too. We don't really see Dragon with a lot of emotion, but here we see him emotion saying, go ahead, go your way. And pretty much says, it's not cool to stop another man's voyage. I love it. The reason why I love it is because I think in chapter 1100, Dragon will show his abilities. He's the last top tier that we have yet to see the abilities, of course, excluding the other Gorosei and Imu. And then of course, we have to talk about a pre-time skip when Garb actually reveals. He says, yo, you met your dad at Log Town. That's, and Luffy's like, how's my dad like? And he said, he didn't introduce himself. I feel tension when Garp reveals that Dragon is Luffy's father. I feel tension between Garp and Dragon. The only thing I could think about is what Garp doesn't like talking about. It's probably related to the God Valley incident. I expected no less. He is your son after all. The famous words, of course, from Kuma. And we learned a lot by Kuma saying this because we just looked at Kuma as a tyrant. He wanted to take Luffy's head. He, of course, he took, made Zoro go through all that pain, absolutely nothing. But no, Kuma actually rates Dragon and his son Luffy. And we're like, what the hell? So he's a good guy? And, and speaking of Empel Down with Ivankov, he didn't even know Dragon had a son. Ivankov is one of Dragon's top allies, and he didn't know that Dragon had a son. Luffy reveals it, but he's not surprised because Luffy at the time was a supernova with amazing will to survive Magellan's poison. So Ivankov looks at Dragon as a monster. If he's not surprised that Luffy can do it, that means Ivankov has seen Dragon do some crazy things. And what better place than where Ivankov is right now, God Valley. And I gotta talk about it. Ivankov also says in the same arc that 
he's so surprised that pretty much the world government, of course, trying to execute Pork as the ace. He's assuming that ace is Dragon's son. So he says the world government wants to deal with Whitebeard and Dragon. What are they on? Pretty much putting Dragon on the same level as Whitebeard. And Whitebeard was on God Valley. So I think Dragon being there too would make the story cooler. Because Ivanka looks at Dragon and Whitebeard at the same level. Yes, I know Dragon's most wanted man. Whitebeard, of course, had the highest bounty in the story at the time that we know so far. So... There's connections there. And early on in the story, Ivanka reveals how much Kuma detests the world government. Of course, recently we now know why. He definitely should detest the world government. And he also talks about how forget like how can Kuma forget his face and how terrifying I can be. And now we're seeing in the recent chapter Ivanka and Kuma meeting and Ivanka definitely gonna do some crazy stuff in this flashback they know each other since they were kids in a sense and we get confirmation more when it comes to the asl flashback when we see kuma and ivanka by monkey d dragon's side and he says he will change the world not maybe i will try to he says he will change the world monkey d dragon is on a mission if you can't see that it is just shocking and of course it's also asl flashback we see hints of him using wind related abilities too of course when dragon's ties his family ties get revealed to the public world of garp being his father and luffy being a son on, the revolutionaries look at him more as a human and i'm just thinking how did they look at him before i know he's like a robotic character and everything but how savage is monkey dragon the way they portray him is crazy like he's a different so i can't wait to see more of this in chapter 1100 and of course ivanka ties back luffy's craziness to dragon and i'm thinking ivanka being on god valley he, ivanka had to see dragon at a young age do some crazy probably conquer tacky stuff or delphal ability maybe i think dragon's delphal ability was actually taken from god valley because it has so many natural resources abundance of it and the fact that monkey d dragon knows why kuma gave up his memory but ivanka does i know ivanka was in prison and whatnot but still i'm thinking that's the trust that kuma and dragon have and i think that only could be done because dragon helped save kuma from god valley as he was the top prize he was a star in the buccaneer race of course we have to talk about sabo calling dragon after escaping imu and the gorose and those hellish creatures and dragon has a serious face as he says there's a king of the world the empty throne is not empty monkey dragon is not shocked he's not laughing he has a serious face but i think the reason why dragon is not totally shocked is me because he's actually seen some of the gorose and imu maybe during god valley and i have to talk about during the egghead island arc dragon knew professor clover who would have thought from back in the day professor clover was actually voyaging the sea and that's where he met dragon i think maybe professor clover could be a character that was a part of god valley and i also want to say this this is he disses vegapunk saying you join the marines and not my group not my freedom fighters and vegapunk says this isn't back and says you guys have no money no resources and of course vegapunk also tells him to chill out a little bit don't forget the end goal uh, of course but monkey dragon is pissed off because of ohara but vegapunk saying don't forget the end goal definitely reminds me of like pretty much vegapunk saying we both are on the same side there's decent people on the marines we're trying to reach an end goal that's similar vegapunk and dragon and that's why dragon calling is a big deal i mean vegapunk calling dragon is a big deal and dragon is very serious in this flashback he tells vegapunk i'm gonna get an army and i'm gonna fight the world government and even though he hates fighting, Vegapunk says you hate fighting. I wonder where Vegapunk and Dragon has met and where he's learned that Dragon hates fighting. And of course, right after Kuma and Ivankov and him made the Revolutionary Army. So Ohara's will is one of the major causes of the Revolutionary Army being started and that war that's about to happen soon. Chapter 1100, guys, it's about to get crazy. And I love how Nami said it best. Luffy's dad sounds intense. And of course, that means the reason why he's so intense compared to Luffy, he had to have a rough life, even rougher than Luffy. Luffy's had a rough life, but I think Dragon has had a rougher life. And I think God Valley definitely was probably a moment where he saw behind the curtains and definitely made him more intense. Now, I know I keep saying 1100, it could be past it but i think it's sooner than later guys don't look too deep into 1100 everything i'm saying i believe is definitely very very credible and we can see monkey d dragon's intensity when he's talking about how eight successful uprisings happened and ivanka replies wait didn't we lose one of those countries to lucia because of the attack and he's like doesn't matter still eight successful uprisings which was very intense of him to forget about an island being destroyed and monkey d dragon said it best the real battle starts when they immobilize the god knights to fight the revolutionary from stopping the resources from getting to mary joas so chat 1100 don't forget the flashback might show dragon and we might get actually 
see a jump to the God Knights versus the Revolutionaries top guys and Dragon versus, of course, someone I'll talk about in the end of this video. Then, of course, we have a moment where Sabo is explaining how Lelouch was actually destroyed and talks about an enormous shadow which got Dragon's attention. We know that Vegapunk built this weapon that destroyed Lelouch and it's probably based on an ancient weapon. And, of course, Ivanka was like, why would Vegapunk do that? And Dragon defends Vegapunk saying, no, he would never do that. And, of course, says that Robin pretty much confirmed the ancient weapons from her reading the porno gifts and that they exist and it's crazy because dragon's so smart he's so intelligent he's like why would the world government wait this long to use the ancient weapon just showing he knows the ancient weapon is not actually out there and maybe this guy holds so many secrets maybe he knows uranus actually exists from his the way he's so attentive about it maybe he actually has it who knows now me personally after reading that some pretty much Sabu became the flame emperor surpassing even the rebellious dragon I think that Sabu is probably, because they're after him now, he's the number one guy in the Revolutionary One. I think he will actually fight Shanks' brother, their strongest god knight in his prime. I think that's the fight they're setting up for Sabu. And I think Monkey D. Dragon will fight Shanks' father. Obviously, we're not confirmed yet, but assume father, the god knight super, supreme commander that was there on God Valley, the former God Valley king. And of course, I'm talking about Figal and Garling. And they'll talk about God Valley and what they witnessed. And it'll just be a very intense battle. But the final thing I want to say is this. Monkey D. Dragon will also probably fight a Gorsei member, Saturn. And I think this could happen during the end of Aked Island. Since he was also on God Valley, there's definitely connections to the Most Wanted Man. And I think that he will protect Luffy like he did versus Smoker. Making it a very poetic ending to Aked Island. This incident is about to get crazy, guys. Ooh. Of course, it can build up also a legendary fight of Void Century level if Emu comes to kill dragon a will d member and going strictly against emu and of course hyping up a future battle of luffy nika versus emu a rematch of the void century and of course i can't wait to see that and can't forget luffy meeting dragon is still a pivotal moment that needs to happen in the story i think egghead island is the greatest time to do it if oda wants to do it and of course i have to mention kuma is also heading towards somewhere and i think that's egghead island probably to die and sacrifice himself against saturn so we have to see dragon have to avenge him if that's a good reason to fight of course and then lastly i want to say this the fact that kainu came all the way down to mary Jolas to actually stop kuma that was intense and we know that they're hinting at dragon versus akano happening in the future because of course akano kept saying dragon sun dragon sun during marine fort war this final saga has so many built up plot lines that i can't even talk about in one video so subscribe to the channel guys because there's more one piece fire videos coming guys we're not stopping we're not stopping at all